Let's do some simple addition and subtraction using degrees, minutes, and seconds. So let's start with two angles. And I want to add these angles. I have 215 degrees, 15 minutes, 43 seconds. And I need to add 209 degrees, 47 minutes, and 14 seconds. When I'm done with this result, I need to have uh, an angle that is less than a full circle. A full circle is 360 degrees. So let's start with the, the simple mechanics of this. Remember, I have no more than 60 seconds uh, in a minute, and I have no more than 60 minutes in a degree. Let's add them up and see what we get. Here I'm going to get 57 seconds. Here I will get what, 62 minutes, and here I'm going to get 14, that's 424 degrees, 62 minutes and 57 seconds. Now, this is clearly greater than 360 degrees. In fact, this is like saying, if I start at north, I'm going all the way around the circle, and I'm going past that. So 424 degrees would be out here somewhere, right? It's like playing Monopoly, and you went past go. Well, our circle doesn't allow you to do that. We have to stay inside 360 degrees. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to convert this. Here I can see that I have less than 60 degrees or 60 seconds in uh, my seconds column, so that's going to be okay. But when I look at 62 minutes, I know that that is really one degree and two minutes, isn't it? So I'm going to convert that to two minutes and add a degree to my degrees column. That gives me 425 degrees, zero two minutes, and 57 seconds. But you can still see that I'm greater than 360, so I'm simply subtracting 360 degrees, and I get 65 degrees, 0, 02 minutes, and 57 seconds. That would be the final answer for this addition. Now let's consider a basic subtraction. So in this case, we're going to start with 200 36 degrees, 15 minutes, and 28 seconds, and we're going to subtract 174 degrees, 31 minutes, and 45 seconds. Now you might be thinking, Todd, why are you covering this? I can do it in my calculator. Well, you're going to have better skills if you understand how to do it when your calculator is not available. So, it's just a simple process, but once you understand it, uh, it will enable you to do things by hand when you need to. So, let's take a look at this just like you're used to borrowing in columns in decimal math in this type of uh, numeric system, we're going to borrow as well. So we will convert degrees to 60 minutes, and we'll convert a minute to 60 seconds. And I can see here that I'm not going to be able to subtract 45 from 28. I'm not going to be able to subtract 31 from 15 without borrowing. So let's do some borrowing. I'm going to borrow a degree from 236 degrees, that leaves me 235, and now I convert that degree to 60 minutes, don't I? So I'm going to add that 60 minutes to my 15 minutes, and that gives me 75 minutes. So 75 minus 31 is going to work out fine. But I still need to borrow a minute to enable my seconds to subtract. So I'm going to borrow one more minute, 74 degrees, whoops, 74 degrees, and this now becomes 88 minutes. Why 88? 
because I added 60 seconds to my 28 seconds. The 60 seconds came from one minute, didn't it? All right, so now that I've got that set up, it's pretty straightforward. 88 minus 45 is going to give me 43 seconds. 74 minus 31 is going to also give me 43, but that's minutes now. And 235 minus 174 should give me 61 degrees. 61 degrees, 43 minutes, 43 seconds is the difference in those two angles. Well, let me show you a trick that will actually make a few things a little simpler on math that you can expect to do on a regular basis when you're dealing with angles. Very often, you will need to subtract something from 180 degrees or from 360. The same concept applies in both scenarios. But let's say I'm subtracting 37 degrees, 19 minutes, and 26 seconds from 180 degrees. Well, clearly I'd have to borrow, but I can do the borrowing in one fell swoop here by simply considering that 180 degrees is the same thing as 179 degrees, 59 minutes, and 60 seconds. You see, 180, 0, 0, 0, 0 is the same as 179, 59, 60, isn't it? Well, then you can see the math pretty much just falls right out. I'm going to get 34 seconds here. I'm going to get 40 minutes there, and I'm going to get... 142 degrees for a final answer of 142 degrees, 40 minutes, 34 seconds. I just want to call out one more thing to your attention. And you saw it at the beginning up here. Right up here in my final answer, 65 degrees, 02 minutes, and... Um, 57 seconds, you can see that I showed what we call a leading zero. Here's, here's the issue. If I were instead to write this as 65 degrees, 2 minutes, and 57 seconds, there is some ambiguity in that expression right there, because with only one place shown, this could be interpreted as uh, two something or something followed by two, or maybe it was supposed to be two zero. We don't really know. But if you want to reduce ambiguity, we want to write this instead with leading zeros. 0 2 minutes and 57 seconds. This will give far greater confidence among the readers, the subsequent readers of this data, so they know they got the right number based on what you wrote down.